If you consider this revolting and perverted, understand that you'll be seen as an intolerant, shallow person who should visit a psychiatrist. This is a usual playground slide. You don't believe it? Take a closer look. A boy of five is sliding down right there. This playground slide is in Norway, and it was put there in order to bring up children in a proper way, not to feel shy, but to be developed. Are you shocked? Well, if so, it means that you are backward and not able to appreciate how modern civilization has evolved. Not long ago, Europeans decided to civilize their citizens from the cradle in order to reduce the number of such stupid people. The youngest children are taught core values through the examples of toy animals. This French book has the title Little Fox Jean Has Two Mums. And here is a story about a baby penguin entitled The Tango of Two Fathers. Why not? Preschool teachers in kindergartens read such books to children. Teachers use special methods and techniques which are being worked out in ministries. For example, the Danish Ministry of Equality has printed a guideline for nursery teachers called Kindergartens, where there is a place for peppy princes and pirate princesses. In Latvia, you can find books for boys entitled The Day When Carlis Was Carlene, and for girls, The Day When Ruta Was Richard, published under the patronage of the ministry. And you encounter the same situation in Germany. For instance, the pupils of one German school swapped sexes. In honor of Gender Equality Day, boys and girls cross-dressed. In fact, everybody took part, both teachers and students, because, according to Europeans, it helps to reach mutual understanding. Schüler sich in der Schule, wo sie sehr lange in ihrer Jugend sind, nicht verstellen müssen, sondern sein können, wer sie sind. If you're shocked by all this, that handicraft and PE teachers can come to school in a skirt with makeup and high heels, and a maths teacher can come to school wearing men's trousers and false beard, then it means you are backward. LGBT ideologists are sure that a man in his infancy is neuter. That's why he can later choose who he wants to be. He, she, or it. These cute boxes are not sold in sex shops, but are given out in kindergartens in Basel, Switzerland. Plastic boxes are made for children of four years and upward. A complete set is made up of queer dolls, special illustrated books, and toys imitating genitals. But that's not the worst. The most horrible thing is that nowadays kids are transformed and become some kind of neuter. A creature that doesn't know who it is, male or female. This is Max. He is two. His English father and mother dress him in boys' trousers as a boy and girls' skirts. Though Max was born as a normal boy, his parents consider this meaningless. Until the boy decides for himself who he is, his parents make him play with both toy cars and dolls. His mother paints his nails and pins up his hair with girlish hairpins. And his father shows him how to assemble a robot. According to his parents, they do it for the sake of their child. According to Lisa, Max's 23-year-old mother, a gender-neutral upbringing gives a child the freedom to choose between stereotypical male and female clothes and toys. He gets dressed and plays with toys the way he likes. From an early age, Max, who is brought up as God knows who, and his parents and hundreds of thousands of European families have fallen victim to a modern gender theory, which turns people into neutered creatures. The formation of such people of the future begins in special kindergartens. Here is one such preschool institution in Sweden. The kindergarten Egalia has been operating since 2010 in Stockholm. 
Here, the children are treated as if they have no gender. Instead of han or hon, which is translated from Swedish as he or she, a child is called hen, which means it. This neuter word was added by pedagogues to their word armory from non-traditional sexual minorities. That's probably the reason why the director of the kindergarten, Lotta Rajalin, considers this procedure to be the most democratic. So I think we are going to change girls to boys and boys to girls, and that's, of course, not what we are doing. We like to give every human being the same rights, the same possibilities, the same responsibilities, and that is a question of democracy. Here is how this democracy works. Kids play with neuter dolls and read books about a boy who loved pink and a dress with white polka dots. Boys must play in a doll kitchen with girls and girls must build cities with Lego construction blocks. And this is also the situation in France where bureaucrats from the Department of Education came to one of the kindergartens. They were shown an open lesson where kindergarten teachers help children to overcome stereotypes. The figures of boys and girls are attached to a blackboard. The children's task is to dress the figures so that they portray neither male nor female. Films about these new children are brought to the attention of teenagers at the age of 12 to 14. For example, this movie called Tomboy. This term signifies a girl who acts like a boy. And it tells the story of 10-year-old Laura, who understood that she's a boy. In addition, this girl falls in love with her female neighbor. This boy-girl story was lauded by critics, and it won the Berlinale 2011 prize. It's difficult to believe that this outrageous film about a girl who likes to be a boy is shown to pupils in France. Within the framework of the program, school and cinema, it was seen by 46,000 French pupils. And German teenagers at the age of 13 are given odd questionnaires where they must think, do they belong to the right gender? Here are several questions. When and why did you decide to be heterosexual? Is heterosexuality only a phase which you'll overcome? Is it possible that your heterosexuality is the result of the neurotic fear of the people the same gender as you? You must admit that such questions are difficult to make out by adults, say nothing of seventh graders. They try to make neuters of modern children who fall victim to a doctrine accepted in 1995. This was when the transformation of a person into a mysterious it began. In Beijing, during the UN World Conference, the notion sex was changed to gender, out of respect for people of non-traditional orientation. At the time, it seemed nothing special, but many psychologists and sociologists think it could lead to the fall of human civilization. against nature. The concept of gender mainstreaming, it's, it's an ideology, it's not a science, although you can, you, you can study gender mainstreaming, gender studies, you can study in European universities, but it's not a science, it is an ideology. It's an ideological study, and this ideology says that um, the social gender, the social sex, is only trained and educated, achieved by education, and um, that beside the roles of men and women are many, many other roles one can choose for himself. And that is a big enrichment of personal life to choose one of those roles, to impose, for example, homosexual relationships as as normal as heterosexual relationships. The ideology says that also heterosexual um, behavior is, is achieved, so we, we should keep for the children the gates open to choose the sexual identity. How did it happen that conservative Europe 
having honored family traditions and traditional values, began to accept the freedom of minorities and legitimized the corruption of kindergarten children. The fact is that nowadays many followers of non-traditional European values are in the halls of power, as the analysts say. This is Orden Lisbaken, a Norwegian politician and millionaire who doesn't conceal his non-traditional orientation. Not long ago, he headed the Ministry of Children and Family Development, and now he is the leader of one of the left parties in Norway. Having left his ministerial position, Lisbarken donated 13 million krones to promote a new program of non-traditional sexual education in Norway's kindergartens and schools. And this is Daniel Konbendin. He is the leader of the united faction of the Green Party in the Euro Parliament, a man who started his career as a kindergarten teacher in Frankfurt am Main. Well, he was accused of paedophilia and moreover, a few decades ago, casually depicted shocking things on French TV. Bah, c'est quand même, faut être honnête, sérieux, un petit gosse. Moi j'ai travaillé avec des, des, avant les tout petits, là, les tout petits c'est autre chose, mais avec des gosses qui avaient entre 4 et 6 ans. Bah, vous savez quand une petite fille de 5 ans, 5 ans et demi, commence à vous déshabiller, oh là, c'est fantastique. Do you want your children to be neuter? Do you want them to read fairy tales about the love of two princesses? Or about a happy marriage between two bearded princes? Okay, then go on and keep mum and support same-sex marriages. And in this case, in a few years, all family values will likely be destroyed.